is we have a great accountant for you, and for a very, very high fee, he can help you out. But, but the one thing I love about Dan Geltrude is he crunches the numbers, and just look at some of these numbers that we pay in taxes uh, over a lifetime. You know, on average, half a million. And in some high state tax, like where I'm from in New Jersey, uh, that's just what we pay in a year, uh, even if you don't make that. The, I, I exaggerate to make the point here that, that, that everyone is knee deep in this stuff and should be knee deep in, in, in finding out more about it. Enter Dan to help us make sense of it all. Dan, um, th th this is a lot of money when you look at it in terms of what you pay in year in and year out, especially in high tax states like New Jersey, New York, and some of the others. But you know, you can't escape the tax man. And whether it's on federal level or capital gains and some of these other taxes, they do pile up. What do you tell folks? Well, Neil, that's why we see that polling that you had on just before about people feel they, they're overtaxed. Yeah. It, overall in the country, you have people paying over $500,000 in taxes. That's 34% of your lifetime earnings. Now, that's not all income tax, Neil. Right. That's about two-thirds income tax. The, the rest of that, the other third is sales tax, property taxes, and other things. Now, in a state like New Jersey, where you and I are from, that number's almost a million dollars. And more disturbing than that, it's 50% of your lifetime earnings. So think Incredible. about that. Half of what you're making, you're paying in in various taxes. It's outrageous, and there's not a lot you can really do about it. You know, you think about it, too. Forget about the federal tax bite for folks, and it, it, it's more for some, you know, less for others. I get that. But, you know, even those in the lower income ranges, everyone pays sales tax. Everyone pays taxes on gasoline. So those are very, you know, uh, progressive taxes that, that hit everybody. And I'm just wondering where this goes, because I, I find that communities, states, the federal government, very creative with coming up ways to get your money. Uh, not a one of them very good at, at trying to save you money. Well, here's what's going to happen, Neil. All of this COVID money that went to all the various states, that's starting to run out now. Yeah. So now, as states continue to spend, because they didn't look at that COVID money and say, maybe we should put some away for a rainy day or, or another pandemic or anything else. What they were doing was increasing the spending. So sooner or later, we're going to have a number of states that are going to be in budget crisis like we've never seen before. And by the way, the top 10 states in terms of being taxed over a lifetime, nine out of 10 are in the Northeast. Only one is outside of that, and that's California. And if you look at that list, Every single one of them has budgetary challenges that are only going to get worse, Neil, as they continue to spend. Well, we do know that a lot of the Trump tax cuts on the federal level expire. So in another couple of years, the top rate goes up. You often hear a number of Democratic politicians say, well, they have to pay their fair share. And for the life of me during my career, which hasn't been that long, maybe two or three years. OK, <laughs> maybe three or four or five decades anyway. I've always been bedeviled by this. What is fair share? Uh, it, the, the, it, when it was 70 percent, I guess that was fair share for the top rate. And 90 percent, that was fair share. Uh, then it got to be a moving target. When it got down, Ronald Reagan brought it down to 21 percent, 27 percent, 28 percent, 29 And we've been bouncing around that level. No one ever tells me what is fair share. The one who came the closest was Bernie Sanders, who, at least God bless him, would refer to those days. It was at 70 percent and 90 percent, as if to say it could be that high. Uh, but but. What do you make of that? What is fair share to you? You know, Neil, that is so hard to come up with what right? is fair share. What, but what I tell you right now, it's certainly unfair share. If you look at these numbers, Neil, 1%, the top 1% pay 46% of the income tax. And you'd say, all right, well, maybe it should be that way. But let's look at it this way. That top 1% is contributing only 26 percent of the total income so that number is more than fair share think about Amazing. it you pay 46 percent of the tax but you're only producing 26 percent of the income so if you ask me what's the fair share for the top uh tax bracket it should match their income 26 percent or one quarter well we'll never get to something so simple but uh dan thank you very much I, we're very close to that point where the government will ask you how much you make all right, just give us that.
All right. Uh, Dan, great seeing you again. Dan Geltrude. Uh, Jack